Now, you're on this island. How well could you look after yourself? You're all on your own. Are you good with your hands? With my hands? Yes. I'm good with my hands. What are you going to live on? Have you done any fishing? Are you good at fishing? I would like to fishing. I would like. Would you try to escape from your island? Do you know anything about small boats? The small boats are the passion of my wife, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> and I am unfortunate that I never helped in this way my wife. Yes, well, I hope... And she needed so much because she is always close to me and she is always on duty behind me. Well, I hope she brings a small boat to come and fetch you back from your island. That will be wonderful, anyway. And you're allowed to take one luxury to the island, one object of no use, whatever, but pleasant to have with you. I don't feel uh, attraction for the luxury now. You don't want a luxury? No. Oh, we're not going to force you. Would you like a book? You have already on the island a Bible and the works of Shakespeare. Would you like a, uh, another book? I let to you the choice. Oh, no, I, I don't know what kind of books you like to read. Everyone. Is there, is it there... will be a souvenir from you. <laughs> <laughs> well, is there a, a Bulgarian book that you would like? Is, is it the works of some Bulgarian poet or playwright? Why not? Who is your favorite Bulgarian poet? Yavorov. Yavorov. He's a great Bulgarian poet and a great... Bulgarian who loved his own country. Right. You shall have his works. And thank you, Boris Christoph, for letting us hear your Desert Island Discs. Mr. Plumley, thank you. You was very sweet, very kind with me. And I apologize again. My terrible English it's from not time perfect. to time is understable. But... <laughs> More of the time, I don't know if you understand me well. It's not perfect, but it's fascinating, Mr. Christoph. I agree. Thank you very much, Mr. Goodbye, Bombay. everyone. Goodbye now. It's a, a sort of a representative program of all kinds of American music. Well, I got there early, and Mead Lux Lewis was sitting at the piano going, ti dum, ti dum, ti dum, just playing very slowly. And I went over to him, and I said, uh, listen a moment. I said, what's the name of that tune? And he smiled and said, you know this story about that. He said, once in Kansas City, I was going home late at night. I went into a saloon. There was a woman at the bar, asleep in her hands, and the bartender was there. I bought a beer, went to the piano, and I started playing slowly this tune. And the girl came over, stood a moment, and said, what's the name of the tune? And I answered, four o'clock blues. And she said, what time is it? I said, about four o'clock. <laughs> uh, alas, Pearl, um, Meet Lux Lewis never recorded four o'clock blues, but we've got this one, which I think you'll like. <laughs> We've got to your last record. What's that to be? The last record is um, Bach. I like Bach. You know, to think about that old boy having to write a new tune every Sunday. <laughs> boy, he was busy, wasn't he? <laughs> he was indeed. Oh, and they're all different. This one is Yesu Joy of, of Man's Desiring, the Myra Hess uh, arrangement. If you could take only one disc of your aid, which would it be? Oh, it would be the the Mozart with, with the uh, brother brain playing the uh, the French horn. Brother brain. Oh yes. Yes. The, the Mozart horn concerto. Oh yeah, because that would keep me uh, in good spirits. And one luxury to take to the island. Well, you know, I, I will I will take the spirit again, the spirit every time, but this time is spiritus fermentus, yeah. and it's uh, Tobermory yeah. whiskey. Right. Yes. In, in any quantity you like. And Lots. Right. 